chapter 7 part d question number 9 in the event that a building containing condominium is destroyed and the strata corporation resolved by resolution not to rebuild so I had not to rebuild how will the proceed of any insurance policy be distributed so basically mean for example you know once the those planes struck the twin towers right so building demolition at it demolished so how would the those owner be paid whatever price they paid when they bought it would they uh, get that or would they get paid based on the today's schedule today's, today's assessed value right so it will be so the number four according to a conversion schedule based upon the most recent assessed values of the strata lots okay so it will be the most recent not not that time but what you pay for it what you paid for it so, so it will be the today's most recent uh, assessed value so remember that then we go to the question number 10 which of the following statement respecting condominium is true number one each Tata Lord is entitled to one vote which is given a proportional decision making value by Tata Council in accordance with the unit entitlement so circle is unit entitlement so that makes it wrong you know the meaning of unit entitlement it means it's a formula to figure out the common expenses it has nothing to do here so that makes it wrong so we go to number two strata corporation for a residential condominium complex which passes a bylaw severely restricting the number of lot which may be leased may restrict any renewal of existing leases until the total number of lease lot in a complex complies with the bylaw that's false so they can't restrict the renewal so 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 you need 75 percent right voting to get anything through right and then we go to the third a bylaw which passed by a strata corporation cannot be enforced against a strata lot owner unless or under it has been filed in the appropriate land title office that's true so highlight unless it's filed basically mean for example if one of the unit owner does not behave in the swimming pool so we can't restrict him until we pass a bylaw and deposit into the land title office so that is true and uh, and the fourth the owner of strata lot which are on the top floor of a residential condominium also own airspace no it happens only in the individual properties in the detached properties so it's false so it's only number three and then we go to the question number 11 with respect to bylaws in strata development which of the following statement is true number one bylaws are passed by special resolution of strata council is passed by board of directors actually bylaws may limit an owner's right to lease a strata lot if it's a commercial doesn't matter if it's a commercial or residential so if it's a commercial only makes it wrong it may be residential too third bylaws provide for the control and management of strata lots and common property that's true so it bylaws it helps you to control and manage the not only the unit but also the common property so it's third and then we go to the question number 12 which one of the following is not a remedy so highlight not a remedy remedy means solution available to the owner of a strata lot who is dissatisfied with certain action of strata corporation so so you are not happy with the strata corporation so what you can do what what you can't do basically number one the owner may obtain a mandatory injunction so that's true injunction means stop or force someone to do something for example if your neighbor has a big dog which threatens your kids right so basically you may have a mandatory injunction right number two the owner may file a lien against strata corporation you cannot file a lien against strata corporation can file a lien against you if you don't pay them but you cannot file a lien against the strata corporation so that's false number third the owner may have an arbitrator arbitrator means third party if you are not happy with them so you may have an arbiter third party to to make a decision right that's true and fourth the owner may apply to supreme court of bc for an order requiring the strata corporation to comply mean follow the strata property act yes you can go to supreme court of bc to to make your case heard so that's true so so you can highlight apply it to spin of bc okay so so number two is the false 
and then we go to question number 24 from there 24 which of the following statutory remedies so highlight the word statutory remedies available to an owner of state or lord who is dissatisfied same kind of persons so number one an owner may sue the strata corporation that's true so you can sue if you're not happy with the strata corporation number two the owner may order the appointment of an administrator that's true right administrator mean like arbitrator right in extreme cases basically mean where the situation is gone out of hand so that's true third owner may with withhold payment so that's false you can't withhold the payment of monthly expenses so so that's false the owner may file a lien and you cannot file a lien Set a corporation can file a lien. So it's, 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 a, it's only A and B. It's a number four. And then we go to the question number from there. Uh, we can go to the question number 13. Which one of the following statement is false? Number one, in an entirely residential condominium complex, bylaw must be amended by three quarter vote by 75 percent highlight 75 that's true anytime you want to make a change you have you need 75 percent voting true if a rule conflicts with the bylaw bylaw prevails that's true rule is if you are late five minutes so there's a five dollar fine but if the bylaw say you can't find your students so bylaw prevails okay so that's true subject to some exemption bylaw may prohibit the rental of state of lots that's true you know when you buy a unit in a a condominium they may say only 20% can be rented that's true fourth assuming the standard bylaws have not been amended the strata council may pass rule with yeah with respect to safety and cleanliness of individually owned strata lots you can only make a change if the rules are amended so note makes it a false here so the answer is a four and that's it for this part